guys welcome back to my channel okay so in my opinion it is not time to get excited about Christmas until the first day of December so today it is the 28th of November and since basically everybody insists on getting so festive like the day after Halloween I'm like okay it's close enough so what is more Christmassy than a red lip and gold glitter I feel like everyone goes like nuts with the glitter um, around Christmas time. But I suppose if you can't go nuts with glitter around Christmas, like when can you? So I thought I would try to um, a gold glitter liner, which I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. Like I started with an idea in my head and I was like, this could be a holy mess. Like this could literally be the biggest fail. And, but I think it worked. I think it's be really cool on New Year's or if you've got like a Christmas staff party to go to. I honestly feel like if there's somebody you've been eyeing up in your office, this would catch their attention. You know, like you could be in a corner and then uh, in walks Bob from accounting and you just, you know, just flash in your eyes. And then he'll be like, holy shit, that is so much glitter on her eyes as liner. I have to go over, I have to go over and talk to her. And he'll have me a tank, so. Also, to stick with the festivities, I thought I would entertain you guys to this video with a couple of Christmas jokes. You're welcome. Okay, so all the products will be listed below and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so I've already primed my eye by blending out concealer onto the eyelid and just setting that with um, other cream shadow. This just makes sure you have a nice kind of even base to work with. It's gonna make your eyeshadows last the whole day. It's gonna make your eyeshadows a lot easier to blend and it's going to prevent creasing as well. Okay, so as usual, I always start with a matte white and a flat concealer brush. And I'm just going to use that to highlight the brow bone. And then just drag it down the lid. I find that using a matte white is a lot more natural than if you used a shimmery colour. Okay, now I'm going to take this colour here for my transition colour and a fluffy brush. I'm just going to apply that right into the crease. Using a transition colour just means that the darker colours are going to blend a lot nicer on top of that. So rather than going straight in with a darker brown, um, it wouldn't, you wouldn't get that nice kind of blend on it if you hadn't put a transition colour in first. And you can just take that on the bottom lash line as well. Okay, so using the same brush and this really nice warm brown, I'm going to do the exact same and take that into the crease. When applying a colour into the crease, I always start right on the outer corner, kind of pat it on, and then bring it across. So it's like small circular motions and then windshield wiper motions. Blending is just one of those things that comes with practice. And again, you can take that onto the lower lash line. I don't want the eye to be too dark since I am going to do a red lip as well. So I'm going to move on to the liner now. I always use Inglot's Black Gel Liner and I put a little drop of Jerline in it. This just makes the liner a lot more fluid and easy to work with if it's kind of dried out a little bit. And also you want to say a little prayer and hope that your liner decides to cooperate with you. It's so scary. All I want for Christmas is for my liner to just always go on nicely. Is that too much to ask? A little bit rocky, but don't worry, we're gonna get there. I'm just waiting for my hand to have like a spasm attack. And now I've jinxed it. I've jinxed it. Great. It's gonna happen now. You know, you gotta have confidence because if you're not confident in yourself, no one's gonna be confident with you. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there before I start crying. My liner, they're always both a little bit different, but who cares, okay? Nobody's perfect, so yeah. 
Okay, so basically what I do is I go into the crease and make that a little bit darker, but you're gonna have to wait until the liner is dry. So don't rush in or else it's gonna all smudge. So wait a couple minutes until that liner is completely dry. And now would be a perfect opportunity to tell one of my jokes. Why did Santa's helper have to see the doctor? Because he had a low elf esteem. Elf esteem. Because he's an elf. It's like his elf esteem. Okay. Okay, so now going into this color again and this little smaller brush. And I'm just gonna go and find that crease a little bit more. Again, like I don't really want it too dark because I want the focus to be on the liner and the lips. And you can take that underneath. And I'm just going in with this dark brown just on the lower lash line. Okay, so now for the really exciting part. Okay, the glitter I'm using is from Inglot. It's a really cool glitter. Look how amazing that is! It's kind of like a multicolored, like, yeah, like there's all different kind of, yeah, you get it. You, get it. you know what I mean. You can see it for yourself. I'm really bad at describing things. There it is. So to stick that down, I'm gonna use Duo Glue. That's upside down. And a little liner brush like this. So take a little bit of glue on your brush, and basically you wanna just go on top of the black liner with your glue. And then go straight into the glitter, and then just pat that on. Hi. Hi. How's it going? I'm fine. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Well, it's fine. Like, as long as there are people back here. You look great. Thanks. Um, we're going to the Gables. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I can't. I know, because you're just all jittery. I know. You, you know. The sparkle is fantastic. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it'll be Christmas Eve. Yeah, that one looks Could cool. Could be on a Christmas tree. Yeah, I should do. I do see fix this one, but. Coming to a Christmas tree near you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Sorry about that, guys. That was my dad. Asked me if I want to go for lunch, which I would usually jump I get an opportunity to go for free food. But I can't because I'm doing this for you guys. So just know that I passed up a free lunch to give you this tutorial. Okay, so then you want to wait for this to dry and then I'm gonna go over the liner again. How do snowmen get around? They ride an icicle. Icicle, because it's like bicycle, but it's ice because they're snowmen. So like they're made out of ice and snow. So, you know, they could ride an icicle. We couldn't ride an icicle. That'd be pretty sore. Okay, so now that the glitter is dry, I'm gonna go back over that liner. Look how magical it is. Last step is to add the inner corner highlight. I'm gonna take Okay, my camera is currently showing me in really weird lighting. So that's cool. I guess while I'm waiting for it to figure its life out, here's another joke. What does Santa do with fat elves? He sends them to an elf farm. An elf farm? That's actually just like rude and offensive. I don't even really get it. Like a pig farm? Like they're so fat that now they're fat enough to be stuffed and roasted? What are we cannibals now? Eating elves. Elf farms. Not up in here. Okay, I'm just gonna carry on and hopefully it'll make me not look so washed out. Oh, now I'm orange again. But I kind of want to be orange, so great. Okay, so now I'm gonna highlight and contour my face. 
I'm using an angle brush here, um, Benefits Hula Bronzer. And remember to tap off the excess. And what I do is just place it in the um, the part that's supposed to be sucked in, but it's not sucked in. So we need to try and make it look like that way with makeup. So yeah, right there. And then blend upwards. You don't wanna, you don't wanna blend downwards, you wanna just blend up. And then apply it on the forehead as well. Contour that nose a bit because why not? Boys think makeup is a lie, then fine. I may as well just roll with it. Now I'm gonna go in with this blush here. Helps to smile like a weirdo when you're applying blush. Okay, so now the highlighter that I'm gonna use is this MAC one here, it's so nice. This gold one on the top, and this big fluffy brush from Ingla. And you wanna apply it just on the cheekbone. I have an obsession with highlighter. Oh, it's just like so nice. I always put some down the bridge of my nose as well, and on the cupid's bow. Molly's like, okay, me, that's enough highlighter. And then I'm like, no more. But no, that's that's enough. Knock knock. Who's there? Centipede. Centipede who? Centipede on the Christmas tree. That is actually just crude. I, I apologize. Okay, so before I started, I made sure that I moisturized my lips. When you're gonna be wearing um, a red lip or any kind of bold lip, I would suggest putting some lip balm on before you start your makeup, so by the time you get to your lips, they're not gonna be dry at all. Then you're gonna remove the lip balm um, so that your lips are nice and matte. Now I'm gonna line my lips with this red liner here. I always go ahead and kind of fill the whole lip in with my liner, that way the lipstick just lasts longer because it has another base to stick to. Okay, doing red lip is really scary, so I'm just gonna stop there before I ruin it. The red lipstick that I'm using is this one from Inglot. It's a matte lipstick. It smells really nice as well. When I was younger, I used to smell everything, like a creepy weirdo. Like this, should I be like? Yeah, pretty good. Knock, knock. Who's there? Olive. Olive who? Olive the other reindeer. Now, like, if someone could figure out the funny part of this joke, if there's a pun that I'm missing, please leave me a comment below. Joke submitted by Joe. Joe, your joke doesn't make any sense. Knock knock, who's there? Amy, Amy who? Amy the other reindeer. I could be another reindeer, I just put my name in the joke. And now for some jokes that you probably should never repeat to anybody ever. Okay, I actually can't even say these on camera, so that's enough of the jokes, I think. And this is the finished look. It's Christmassy and New Year's Eve and whenever you're in the mood to wear glitter -y. I really hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully you enjoyed my jokes. I'm really sorry if you didn't enjoy the jokes. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and leave the links to them below. Okay, bye. <laughs>